Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on uh, a four set Venn diagram. It says that the big four uh, accounting firms Deloitte, EY, KPMG and PwC visited a college for campus recruitment. The bar graph shows the total number of students shortlisted by each firm for their interview. So we can read the data from this graph. And apart from that, there, there is a table given. It says that many students got multiple shortlist. Okay, the table represents the data of the same. So uh, now how to read the table is like in Deloitte, you see that students with two shortlist is 30. Okay, student with three shortlist is 42. Okay, and uh, uh, so out of all these students, those who were shortlisted by Deloitte, 30 students had two shortlist and 42 had three shortlist. Okay, similarly for EY, KPMG and PwC, the data is given to us. Now it is also given that 30 students were shortlisted by all four firms. So basically uh, we'll have a table first and then we will make a Venn diagram. So Deloitte, EY, KPMG and PwC. So there will be four categories of students. One shortlist, two shortlist, three shortlist and four shortlists. Okay, so one, uh, so two shortlist is two and three shortlist are given to us. Let us fill that in this table first. 46 and 44. Four shortlist is 30 students were shortlisted by all four firms, right? So we'll we have 30, 30 everywhere. Okay, now what we will do is we know the total number of students. Total students in PwC is 160, KPMG is 120, 180 in EY and 140 in Deloitte. Right? So we know the total number of students shortlisted by each of the companies. So out of these students, a person could be shortlisted in one company, two, three, or four. So we know this data. So we'll subtract from the total. So 102, if we subtract, you get uh, if we subtract 102, we'll get 38 here. Okay. And uh, if we subtract 100 from here, we'll get 80. Uh, if we subtract 104, we will get 16 here. Okay. And uh, 68, 98. This will be 62. Okay. So this is the table that we will get. Okay, so let us see the questions before making the Venn diagram. Let us see what all questions can we answer. So first question, how many students were shortlisted by exactly one firm? So exactly one firm will be the summation of all these. Okay, so 100, 180 plus 16, that is 196. 196 students were shortlisted by exactly one firm. Okay, what percent of students shortlisted by PwC were shortlisted by at least one more firm? So PwC 160 students were shortlisted, 62 were shortlisted only by PwC. So remaining number that is 98 out of 160. Okay. So when we convert to percentage, so that is 5 by 8 or uh, we can further say that it is 49, 245 by 4, 245 means 61.25 will be the answer. So that is the answer. Okay. How many students were shortlisted by PwC, KPMG and EY but not Deloitte? Okay. So we'll, we'll uh, now make a Venn diagram and try to answer these questions. Okay. So let us make a Venn diagram. It will be a four set Venn diagram. Okay, so Deloitte, EY, KPMG and PWC. Uh, Let us write the numbers also 140. This is 180. KPMG is 120 and PWC is 160. So 30 people were shortlisted by all four companies. So this portion will be 30. Okay. Now 38 shortlisted by only Deloitte, so 38 will come here. Only this will be 80. 
only this is 16 and only this is 62. Now, when we talk about this number, right, we have to find how many students were shortlisted by PWC, KPMG and EY but not Deloitte. So, we need the number of students who were shortlisted by three firms. Okay. So, when, I, uh, when we consider this case, so this means uh, Deloitte plus uh, so it will include DEK, right? DEP, uh, DKP, right? So this number includes all these three things, right? So when we add all these four times, so we will have the repetition of, uh, I mean, these three things will come thrice. Now, any, any, all of these counts will come thrice. So when we uh, when we take uh, Deloitte, right? So we'll count it. We have counted this D E K Deloitte, uh, E Y and K P M G. When we look at the number of uh, uh, write the equation so that you understand it well. This is 42. Okay. So if I say E, right? If I take E, so E will include D E K plus uh, D E P plus E K P that will be 36 okay so like that we will get four equations so in four equations D E K will come three times once when we are counting for D once when we are counting for E once when we are counting for K so basically all possible combinations okay will come thrice so let us just add these numbers that gives us 78 plus 90 168 okay 168 divided by 3 that is 56 so that means all possible combinations of students that were shortlisted by three companies is 56 so these are the this region denotes two companies this denotes three companies these four regions denotes uh, the people who were shortlisted by three companies okay so this total is 56 how because see if you make equations four equations and add them so all these things will come three times okay similarly this can be uh, like if you divide this by two you will get the number of students who were shortlisted by two companies okay uh, so this number is 56 now 56 are shortlisted in total it says that pwc kpmg and ey but not deloitte okay so uh, so if you see that deloitte is 42 okay so out of these three these three should add up to 42 so this number is 14 okay so uh, shortlisted by all three but similarly like ey is 36 so remove ey so this will be 20 okay kpmg is 46 remove kpmg if you remove kpmg so this should be 10 and this will be 12 okay so we can see that 32 42 56 56 total is matching and you can see this also 42 uh, in deloitte okay ey 36 ey is 36 so you can verify that also okay now what it is saying ki uh, how many students were shortlisted by pwc kpmg and ey but not deloitte so it should be outside deloitte so that number is 14 okay all uh, rest of the three ey it is being shortlisted kpmg is being shortlisted and uh, pwc so this number is 14 now the next question is what is the difference between the number of students shortlisted by only PWC and EY and the number of students shortlisted by only KPMG and Deloitte. Okay, so uh, let us see this thing. Uh, so first of all, let us find the total number of students who were shortlisted here. So uh, 64 plus uh, 52, 116, so 58 students. Okay, so 58 students will be shortlisted by two companies. Okay. Now we have to find only PWC and EY. This portion and only KPMG and Deloitte. We have to find these two portions. Okay, we have to find the difference between them. How do we find the difference is? 
let us take these numbers. Let us take Deloitte. Okay, Deloitte with two short lists, right? Deloitte with two short lists. So when you see Deloitte with two short lists, Deloitte with two short lists means will mean that A, B, C. This part, okay. If I take KPMG with two short lists, KPMG will be D, A. Okay, so I'm writing A again. That means two times. And then you have this E. Okay, this portion, uh, let us say this part is F, which is not counted. Okay, now we know that A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F is equal to 58. Okay, how do we know that it is 58? Like we did for three companies, right? We divided by three, we divided the total by two, we got 58. Now this is 58 and it is also known that we know that for Deloitte it is ABC. Okay. And ADE for this. ABC plus ADE. What do you get? ABC was 30 and ADE is 28. So when we add this, we get it 2A plus B plus C plus D plus E that equals to 58 and another equation we have is this so when we subtract this equation from this equation what do you get we get a because 2a minus a is a b and c will cancel out okay so will e and f d and e and that will be minus f so a minus f is equal to zero so this minus this is zero. So it is asking the difference between the number of students shortlisted by only PWC and EY. So only PWC and EY is this portion, right, which is F and only KPMG and Deloitte is A. So F and A, the difference is zero. So the answer will be zero. So this was a tricky question and uh, this could have been done. These two could have been done without making the Venn diagram. Uh, this also could have been done uh, by understanding the equations, by understanding the number of students and then subtracting this value, uh, not Deloitte, right? And for visualization purpose, we do the Venn diagram to understand this. This was the tricky question to do. So this is the solution to the question and uh, the uh, to the Venn diagram and the four questions associated with it.